Howdy everybody. Welcome back to Ireland Bound and Happy New Year's to everybody. Uh, I'm actually filming this on the 31st, but it will probably be the first before I'm able to get it up with all the stuff that I've got to do to a video to get it up. So uh, anyways, uh, this one is going to be a little bit different. Just a wee tad. This is one of my preparation videos for my trip. Um, I, uh, there's a, a buying site that a lot of people have been using. This probably looks familiar to people who have used the site. <laughs> uh, I kind of got suckered in and I thought, well, I see a couple of things on there that I need and that I would use for my trip. And so I decided to get them. Now, everything in here is not for the trip. Okay, there's some things in here that I just got because I was like, oh, well, you know, something like that would be handy or I, I like the use of that. But there are two things specific that I got that's in here that's for my trip. So since I have two items, I thought I would open my package here with y'all and let y'all get a first look at them. So I've got a handy dandy little pocket knife. I'm going to try and get this opened up. Give me a second here. I just got to find a good place to get. I think I just got it open. <laughs> okay. Oh, looks like one of my things right off. Anybody who has seen one of these things, they get it all bundled up for you. So you've got it all right here. So the first thing on my list that I had wanted and it's right here easy to get. Anybody think they can guess what this is? Anybody want to take a guess? Yes, it's kind of a plaid pattern. Uh, let's see. There we go, get it open, and anybody still think they can figure it out? Okay, this is a little bit lighter. This was supposed to be a jacket. Okay, this was actually supposed to be a jacket, but this is more like a, a hooded shirt. Well, I could still use it, right? And so this, this actually is more like a shirt with a hood on it. Ah, well, you live and you learn, right? I thought it said jacket on it, but uh, apparently it's a hooded shirt. But hey, you know what? If it fits, I can still wear it. And I love hooded things. So I just got to look a little bit closer. That's okay. You know, like I said, you live and you learn. Uh and th this has no lining in it. It's just a shirt. But you know what? This thing, I'll bet it's going to be pretty comfortable. <laughs> I'll try it on later when I don't have so many other shirts on. I mean, I've got this one. I've got this one. So I'll try that later. But it's got a good hood. That hood feels nice and warm. I love hooded shirts. Now let's see. This feels too small to be what I want it to be. Hmm. I'm going to open it up anyways. Might as well let y'all see everything. Like I said, I wanted that to be an actual jacket, but it's a shirt, but I can still wear it. Is this? Oh. <laughs> this is one of the things I got because it just looks so daggum cute. <laughs> this, uh... Hmm. This is... A very, uh, excuse me, I lost part of it there. Oh my word. This is a very, very, very miniature thing. At least they could have done. That's okay. I'm able to thread that through. Before I actually lose this, I wanted to get the chain attached to it. And I'll show y'all what it is here in just a moment. Okay, it is, <laughs> it is a teeny tiny 
<laughs> little hatchet knife. <laughs> yeah, it's got a good blade on it though, so I mean, I can cut something with it. You know, it's just look at how tiny that is. See, it's got a little bit of desi design on the blade on both sides. Nice little tiny wooden handle, and it's got a chain on it so that, that way I don't lose it. <laughs> But a teeny tiny little blade, and let me tell you, that thing is sharp. So I could cut a few things with that. Uh, I kind of have a thing for knives anyways. I mean, I found this one when I was like 12 years old, <laughs> and I still have it. So I just, I have a little bit of an affinity for things with blades. But I mean, that's like so cute. I mean, a tiny little hatchet there, cut up something with it. Okay, so, anyways, that that's uh, I knew that was going to be a small little thing, but that didn't bother me. Okay, this is something I got for myself. Rechargeable headlight, or headlamp. Yeah, it's supposed to not have to have batteries. You just plug it in, and it charges up. And then, of course, you can put it on your head, because uh, when you only have two hands, and there's something where you need two hands to, to work... You know, sometimes you need that extra light. So th this is like my little emergency headlamp. So uh, got that. Um, oh, hey, this this was my other item. If y'all can't see, don't know what that is. It is an electronic luggage scale. So I figured that since I would be going overseas. <laughs> friend of mine was teasing me about this earlier today. I told her what I got. And she goes, oh, you should have just played Russian roulette and, and gone to the, the uh, up there and, and just seen it, if it actually worked or not. Looks like there's probably a battery in it. See, it's got a hook on it. And uh, whenever I have a chance, um, I've actually got a bag of sugar in there that weighs four pounds. So I will get that at some point and I'm going to see how accurate this is. Um, it has it has right here a little can you hear that? Actually you can see it right there can't you? Yeah it's got a little thing there uh, I take that out and it will activate the battery and then I can choose whether I want to use uh, kilometers or no kilograms or pounds on it I you know get it turned on I decide which one I want to use and then I can weigh things. See it's got the hook there. It had a hook. I could get one with a hook or I could get one with a strap. So I decided to try the hook, you know, and see how accurate it is. So uh, like I said, first chance I get, I will see how that goes. But that was the other thing I got. So hopefully that will work. Um, like I said, I'm a little disappointed that shirt wasn't a jacket, but I think there are actual jackets in there. I might have to look and see again, see what they have. But, you know, like I said, you live, you learn. If nothing else, I've got me a nice shirt now. Okay, so a few other things that I got. Um, hopefully, whenever I can get a good laptop, this is a card reader. You take and you plug it in. You know, I might try and see if I can use it on my phone because it's got a C adapter on it, which of course is what my phone uses as a C adapter. So I might see if I can put a card in here and plug it into my phone. That might be interesting to see if I can use it on my phone. If I can, that would be pretty handy. Okay, let's see. What was this one? Yeah. Yeah, like I said, you've already seen both the things I got for the trip. Everything else I'm just letting y'all see because, oh, oh yeah. This is a nice heavy-duty feeling thing. Um, I've seen things like this advertised, and I thought with me being, oops, gee, Ronnie Mo, hold on. <laughs> with me being a bit of a, of a handy person doing things around the house, I got this little thing. It's a universal socket. You take and put it on the end of a drill. Uh, see, you got an adapter. You can stick it, the adapter in there, and then put that into a drill head. And these 
move to fit whatever size of a head you have. So if you got like an odd shape, you know, like a, a hexagon screw, you can set it down on the hexagon screw and it'll turn it because these little pieces will move just right to allow in that size of a socket head. You know, at least up until it gets to be this big. So, see? See how it moves there? So, uh, I had actually kind of wanted something like this for a while. So, uh, I'm going to add that to my little arsenal of tools that I have that for whenever I need it. So, that is another thing. Like I said, that was kind of a, a personal thing that I've gotten for myself. Let's see. Ah, yes. This one. Uh, I had gotten this, and uh, the, the church that I go to, uh, sometimes I do some cooking up there, and sometimes you need to drain off water. So, you got this nice little thing here. It would fit on the edge of the pot and hold into place, and then you can strain out different stuff without losing your whole content. You can drain it out without trying to hold a spoon in front of it, you know, like our mothers used to do for forever. You know, so, you know, you got that on there and, you know, it just makes it a little bit easier to, to do stuff in the kitchen. So, like I said, I kind of got that to use at church because do a lot of cooking up there and sometimes you just need to strain stuff off. So, uh, that, uh, who knows, maybe I might change my mind and keep it for myself. Oh, now this one I did get for myself. This one is mine all mine. Because I do like to cook quite a bit. So, I got this little thing. And you're looking going, oh, okay. Now see, watch. Hold on. I need this harder surface. Oh, here, I'll use this. See? So you, you take and whoop, punched a hole in that. Oh well, it's not like it was anything that I was going to need. I was trying to see if I had anything a little harder without using my phone. Here we go. Aha. A book. Yeah, so see? So you take, and like I said, you press it, and as you press it, it turns and it rotates back and forth. So you can beat stuff. Uh, there's been lots of times here at the house that I'm always looking, it's like, oh, I'll just get a fork, you know, so I, I can get this and I can mix up eggs, I can mix up batter, whatever I can get into it, I can mix it up with that. So that, that was something strictly for me. Okay. Now, I'm, some of y'all are going to laugh at this one. <laughs> some of you are going to go, oh my word, seriously? Just give me a second to get it out. Okay. <laughs> yes, I got a bunch of scrub pads. Uh, I can't remember how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's three rows of them, so that's about 24 of these that I got for practically nothing. <laughs> yes, um, that, yeah, like I said, well, the, the, these, uh, yeah, 24 of these that I got for practically nothing. Actually, I should put that over there since I have kind of that group going over there. And let's see, what was the last thing? I'm trying to remember. Uh, this is what happens when you buy stuff. Sometimes you forget. Yeah, that's empty. Nothing else in there. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well, I still, you know what, actually, what I'm going to do... <laughs> Where is it? There it is. There it is. See, th this is all taped up. So, I'm going... <laughs> I'm going to try out my new little hatchet. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We're going to... Ooh, cut it very nicely there. Turn it over this side. Yeah, very nice cut. Very nice cut. And... Okay, I 
can't cut a straight line to save my life. Oh, I remember what this is now. I have forgotten. <laughs> uh, but sit, looking and seeing it, I see what it is. So, uh, I have now officially used one of my new gifts. <laughs> okay. I bought these because uh, it make it just it makes it easier to take things. These are little storage containers, and see, like whenever uh, I'm getting ready to to do stuff for work and stuff, like uh, let's say I have a lot of leftovers, I can take, and there's enough where I can do like one a day. You know, fill up. It's like here's Monday. I got it filled up. Got a lid on it. Here is Tuesday. I got it filled up with a lid on it. Wednesday, Thursday. Come on, come off. Friday. So that's like a whole entire week there, and I've got four others. It looks like. So I've got. You know, I've got like enough to, to do quite a few uh, things there. Like I said, I can take and uh, put these all, you know, put food in them and meal prep for the week for work. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, it's it just, it's a nice little handy storage thing. And like I said, it, I've now got a way to take stuff to work. You know, I can take and store it for a long period of time. And if it's, if it's going to take me longer, let's see. Uh, let's see. I see the food compatible. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, I was trying to see. Probably you could put it in the freezer. It's just if it drops out of the freezer, it's probably going to bust the, the container. But, uh, yes, yeah, so I can, like I said, I've, I've got these now. So that, that way I can take stuff to work. So, uh, like I said, everything I got, you know, with the exception of a uh, mighty mouse here, <laughs> everything I got, uh, I needed. Uh, so let's see. Oh, that wasn't okay. It wasn't that or that. Give me a second. I'm trying to find what it was that I misplaced. Oh, here it is. So. I did get the luggage scale, you know, uh, I had, I had hoped that this would actually be a jacket. It's not. Oh, well, but, uh, so, um, at least I got one thing that I can use for the trip. You know, I guess I'll just be using this around the house and I'm still looking for a jacket. <laughs> That's okay. I have a couple of other things other places that I was looking in mind, but, uh, this little darling, like I said, after I get a chance to play with it, um, I might show y'all, you know, what happens. That might be like a second part to this video, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'll, later on, I'll take and find, so, uh, find something where I can, a bag that I can put the sugar in and, uh, we'll see how accurate this is, you know, how, how close it gets. And then, uh, that way, whenever I get ready to go on my trip, I can weigh out all my luggage. Yeah, there's uh, two or three things, I can't remember now, that I remember seeing that I thought, okay, I definitely need those for the trip. So uh, I'll be looking into those later. And like I said, this is just kind of a little fun thing to end the year and start the new one with uh, one fail and one hopefully pretty good. Uh, addition to my stuff for uh, my trip. So anyways, y'all have a great New Year's and if I do get to um, put it in, I'll probably be cutting this part out and doing a new ending. So anyways, talk to y'all later. Bye.